Friday in Ember Week, Advent. Station of the Twelve Holy Apostles. The Collecta, or Place of Assembly, when's the stational procession used on this day to start on its way to the Apostolation, must have been in the ancient titular church of St. Mark in Palacines, which is quite nearby. The station preceding the solemn ordinations in Rome is always at the Church of the Twelve Holy Apostles, partly in homage to the Holy Apostles, whose mission to evangelize the world is to be carried on by the Levites of tomorrow, and partly on account of the great celebrity to which this venerable basilica attained under Julius I and John III. The Mass is once again an impassioned longing of the soul for the coming Emmanuel. Isaiah speaks in the Epistle, and describes for us in glowing colors the future emancipator of Israel. The Gospel narrates the visitation when Mary begins her works as the dispenser of grace. She visits the house of Elizabeth and Jesus sanctifies John in his mother's womb. Thus is John the first among the saints to owe all his gifts of grace to Mary, and there, under the humble roof of Zacharias, is sung for the first time that sublime canticle, the Magnificat, which shall form the dedication hymn of the First Church of Our Lady, and shall be the daily prayer of the Church through all the ages. The coming of the Incarnate Word inaugurates a new era. We are brought into this new kingdom by the sacrament of redemption. We pray our Lord that the sacred outpouring of the chalice of salvation, while it cleanses us from old stains, may renew our interior life and make us partakers of the mystery of salvation. O Remus! Bester, O Lord! Thy might, we pray thee, and come, that these who trust in thy kindness and love, may the more speedily be delivered from all adversity. Qui vivis et regnus, cum Deo patre, in unitate spiritus sancte, Deus. Amen.